what's going on guys so finally it happened i am officially an amazonian now so uh it's about last week so i have accepted an offer for amazon security engineer and from last week onwards i am working on behalf of amazon as a security engineer guys so in today's episode i thought to give you some uh, like quick tips uh, whatever the things that you might be needing if you want to start your career in infosec or in like security operations in like 2022 right so today i'm going to give you my top five tips that would help you to shine your infosec career and start your journey let's begin the show so before we begin i hope you can just do the subscribe button so that you can get all of the notifications about these upcoming videos upcoming technical sessions and you don't miss a single damn thing from black pearl right yeah so let's get on going so my first tip would be definitely learn a programming language guys so um so it it might be somehow you might feel like it's a cliche that security engineer doesn't need to be a programmer or a coder but believe me guys if you know at least about some programming languages your life will be lot lot easier so nowadays security engineer role it doesn't uh, is, is, is doesn't look like an l1 role or l2 role or an incident responder role or something like us there is a segregation into the jobs right so there are today we are living in the era of automation so whenever and however you can apply your coding skills in incident response and in security operations as well whatever the things that you can do automate or you can think of in that mindset that would definitely help you to kickstart your career um so i'd suggest you go deep dive in python because that's a damn easy uh, programming language to start off your uh, skills but but make sure at least you learn any of the programming languages but i prefer python um so and, and you know right it's an like and it can scripting kind of language so there is a, a compiler sitting on behind and who does the job for on your behalf when you run some python code right so now if you want to learn about something uh, like a base coding language which is like c or c plus plus that's give you some kind of base but nowadays uh golang or go is uh, like market famous right so you should uh, if you want to learn about how the assembly things works at the back end and you want to uh be have a career in like malware analysis and debugging kind of stuff so yeah so that would help you right my second tip is obviously learn about or do some ctfs okay so capture the flag informations um so why do i mean by that and why i am focusing on capture the flag because whatever information that you are working on maybe it might be a theory information you are getting a lot of gans from the websites from your seniors and all of everywhere from in open internet but until unless you do something and you apply your skills whatever you are working on you never gonna explain those things very critically in the interview right that becomes very important right whatever you are learning from theories perspective you have to apply them somewhere right so that is the reason you have to do the ctfs and there are a lot of platforms so specifically i am interested on uh, blue teaming stuff so uh, you can go to cyberdefenders.org you can go to uh, uh, let's defend you can go to btlo like blue team stuff online and there are a lot of other informations also available so i link them down in the description and uh, there is a github repository of also i have made as like uh, davy jones locker so you can get all of the information coming to your way if you can use that particular repository for your doing the ctfs and like free resources right so whatever the free resources you have grab those information now move on to the third step so the third step would be you have to prepare your resume uh, uh, in a in a very uh, good manner and it has to be something like it definitely it is not something like uh, a very fancy one so i have two of my resumes okay one is very fancy uh, which where i have like you know i have shown every aspect of my art or skills like uh, images then orientation is different and stuff like that 
and one is very formal okay now uh, if you are an experienced one like having two three years of experience and you are applying somewhere through any referral okay through any referrals means you are not applying a job in any portal or any website okay so you are applying or you are giving your resume to someone uh, in that organization and you are giving it to by hand in hand right so at that time you can give your uh, resume in some kind of manner so you can make whatever you want right however you want because that doesn't really matter but if you are applying through a website and applying maybe through a linkedin or even their job portal uh, for that particular company or website make sure your resume fits to the proper orientation it has the proper uh, the, the signatures the proper orientation in the format so that it actually passes the uh, the first step of uh, you know uh, uh, recruitment that that doesn't come from a recruiter actually the from a human face right that a robotic face where the robot sits on your inter like uh, resumes and scan through and just tip your resume to the dump because it doesn't clarify or uh, satisfy that particular uh, things into your resume so make sure you have two different resumes uh, one is obviously following the strict process if you need something uh, let me know in the comment section below so i'll be happy to help or i'll be happy to share some uh, free resources with you again from github not my repository but someone else's repository uh, so you can follow those steps and even i can share you my resume as well the format actually what i am preparing to uh, you know something like eye catch information okay moving on to my next one so which is obviously uh, about the interview sessions okay so nowadays you uh, if you are applying for anything like security engineer or you are starting on that role go deep dive to that particular JD okay so what is this JD all about what is their role all about because you will know a lot of information on their like roles responsibilities what exactly the things that you need to look for in that particular role right so and depending on that expect the uh, uh, queries that you might be hearing from an interviewer is more on logical or or any behavioral based okay so uh, I have gone through a lot of screening process um, in in the organizations that I have applied for and there are very you know limited things that people nowadays ask you about the uh, basic questions which is available on Google like for and say like port numbers um, then uh, although although you need to know those informations because uh, at least if you are applying for incident responder role you by looking at the logs format you need to know what is this common uh, uh, communication is all about right but it is not so much of necessary because if today i find one interviewer is asking me that what are the uh, what is a particular windows event id generated for a particular windows event i might not be remembering it right because i can simply google it but if he ask me um, how a, a hash or some a process gets dumped into the memory or even how can and how can someone extract a binary hash or even the salted hash from your DC or from an, a Windows machine I can explain them the steps right so that is a process or explanation of a use case of credential dumping or credential harvesting right so expect the things nowadays in the interviews which are more about logical steps so that is somehow correlated on my previous uh, steps right what why I emphasis on doing the CTAPs and doing the hands-on practical so that you don't only know about the theory but you also know about what is being done on practical basis right okay and if uh, so maybe it's my last one the fifth one uh, probably about the certification path because if I do not say about it maybe it's not a, a complete list right so uh, what certificates or what are the certification way or path you need to follow uh, uh, to start your journey in 2020 now believe me guys it totally depend on your level of experience or your level of uh, knowledge that you are having so i don't mean by level of experience as in um, like number of years of experience you have rather the knowledge of technical skills that you might be having let's say if you want to start your career so i would prefer that if i was starting my career in 2022 i might have gone for security plus because uh, that gives you very detailed approach 
much of uh, like understanding the security concept uh, from very baseline stuff like from 101 level now if i want to be part of SOC or want to do dfir so there are other certification as well like uh, ecih by uh, ec council so there is the same thing you can you can do in um, e-learning certificate and by uh, which is acquired by ine nowadays so you can go through their portal and you can check the incident handler certification right so that is also very practical approach uh, which is following the practical approach and you can uh, definitely go for that now if you are lagging any particular skills let's say uh, you don't know about linux right or you want to know about something of networking so you have to follow those paths right uh, you can go probably on linux plus you can go for ccna or ccnp if you want to uh, have your uh, knowledge on uh, like uh, networking skills right but in that approach uh, because i i have never gone through that road for learning ccna or ccnp because because in my role or whatever the expertise i might have i have never felt that i should get those done because while i have done some investigation i know the subrouting i know the uh, uh the cid annotations how know the routing protocol works uh, in cloud platform and in on-premise as well because i have learned those things from my day-to-day -day life and day-to-day -day activity that i perform but it totally as i said it totally depends on you what are the certificate path or what are actually course path that you need to go on okay and uh and very specifically if you want to go for anything like an offensive practice so there is obviously you can uh, first you can go for uh, like security plus then linux is a must thing and then obviously uh, i would say that you can try for um, something like a junior pen test ejpt certification that is again an uh, ine certification and next you can target for the oacp because oacp is the boss of everything okay now talking about oacp so uh, what I know about it, um, it it's it's like a hundred uh, marks of examination and you have to get 70 to pass it. And nowadays they have definitely changed the total format of it. Right. So uh, previously it was not like that. OK, so uh, you will get like 60 marks. You can get 60 marks if you can pawn some boxes uh, like you can gain the uh, like you can compromise those box and you can gain the local admin privilege and you can escalate your privilege and you can get the uh, admin privileges. OK, so you can pawn those boxes probably will get the 60 marks okay but that is not all you have to get 10 marks more okay now in those 10 marks it is very very essential in oscp nowadays they are putting active directory enumeration is is it is playing a bigger role there so in active directory you will get like 40 marks okay and it is not something like that okay you pass you you uh, pass some parameter you get some flags and you are preparing some report you will get some marks like 10 or uh, uh, maybe 20 out of 40 either it is zero or it is 40 okay so it is very crucial to understand the active directory path if you are going for or sitting for OACP nowadays um, in 2022 because specifically because they have very much stringent that particular thing um so so it's like that so okay so so 40 marks you acquire from active directory now you can you know you can pawn some boxes uh, and get your 30 marks right so yeah so that's pretty much covering my top five uh things that you need to focus on on 2022 to go to the road of infosec career uh, or if you are starting for infosec career and my some special tips i would give you guys make your network very very strong okay uh, and what do i make uh, the network that means use linkedin very specifically to build up your um, uh, networking very strong if you have like uh, thousands of followers uh, or thousands of connection i'm not talking about followers i'm talking about connections so if you have like thousands useful connection with you in your network so definitely you will land a job in 2022 at least they would open some doors for you so that you know you can get some referrals and stuff like that because 
वंस यू गो इन द रेस ऑफ लाइक टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पीपल आर मोर यू नो लाइक दे वॉन्ट मोर जॉब और मोर रोल्स टू बी फील्ड ऑन थ्रू रेफरल्स रैदर दैन हायरिंग फ्रॉम वेरी स्क्रैच बिकॉज यू डोंट नो द पर्सन राइट सो यू हैव टू डू द फुल प्रोसेस फ्रॉम वेरी बिगिनिंग Uh, so if you know your uh, connections if you have good friends you in in other companies so the work that you are doing that is uh, visible in the public forums so definitely if a recruiter comes to you and you say that okay look these are the these are the things that i have done so they might not have to ask you like 100 questions they would definitely ask you 10 questions just to judge you whether uh, your depth of knowledge and they will give you the offer right that's very important nowadays right so i well i was searching or i was looking for a change um in in last 4 to 5 uh, or like 3 to 4 months i have got several several um uh, Uh, like referrals i have applied for even several referrals but depending on my um like level of expertise and my area of interest i have chosen uh, finally the amazon and i am lucky enough that they have also selected me in that particular role so that's pretty much it about for today's episode guys so wish me luck and stay tuned on black pearl because as i have in my previous episode i have shown about threat hunt episode and lot of other things so more more lot of other things are planned out stay tuned for them i'll catch you guys next time stay healthy stay safe